Millennials make up almost half, 44%, of the Hispanic electorate in 2016. Hispanic millennials will likely continue to drive growth of the Hispanic electorate given the median age of the U.S.-born Hispanics is only 19. In addition, in any given year, more than 800,000 young Hispanics turn 18. Hispanic people are historically very family-oriented. The needs of the family are more important than the concerns of the individuals, and the individual's self-esteem and identity is strongly affected by his or her relationship with family members. Each member of the family has a role to play. Mexico celebra su independencia el 16 de septiembre. Chile celebra su independencia el 18 de septiembre. Y Belice celebra la independencia en el 21 de septiembre. El primer año que se fue celebrado la herencia hispana al nivel nacional fue en 1968, cuando comenzó como una semana larga de celebración. Did you know that Hispanic minority is one of the largest groups of the United States with an estimated 44.3 million members as of 2006? Even with the awareness of free education, surveys still said that only a few Hispanics have pursued tertiary education and graduated with a degree. Most Hispanic men are still taking a white-collared, low-paying job to support their families, while Hispanic women are also tied to their domestic duties at home. For these reasons, governments, U.S. government and some private institutions have created the Hispanic Heritage Foundation to give free scholarship grants for deserving individuals. If you're a Hispanic student who will graduate this year, find a scholarship application and that could be a very good option for you. See your guidance counselors here at Fenton High School for more help. Los hispanos son la minoría étnica o racial más grande en los Estados Unidos y representan aproximadamente el 17% de la población. Se estima que para el año 2060 la población hispana en los Estados Unidos considera aproximadamente el 31% de la población. Diversity among Hispanic origin groups varies between major metropolitan areas. Mexicans make up 79% of the Hispanics in the Los Angeles metro area, but the New York City area is less dominated by one group, with Puerto Ricans 27% and Dominicans 21% being the most populous. The same is true in Washington, D.C., where Salvadorians make up 33%, and in the Miami area, where Cubans are 43% of the group. Feliz Mes de la Herencia Hispana. Each year, Americans observe Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contribution of Latino Americans whose ancestry came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbeans, and Central and South America. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Johnson and was expanded by President Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period. It was enacted into law in 1988. The day of September 15th is significant because it is the anniversary of independence for Latin countries like Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Mexico and Chile celebrate their Independence Day on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. Columbus Day and Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within this 30-day period. We celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month at Fenton High School because we believe that diversity empowers learning. And we want to celebrate, embrace, and understand the different ethnicities, race, and cultures each and every one of us bring.